Oh wow, I look like I wasn't even sick. What's up my beautiful jazz hands? Welcome back. Today I am gonna be doing a quick little get ready with me video and also talk about my battle with ovarian cysts. I felt like this was a great opportunity to calm me down right now because I feel like I'm gonna have the ultimate panic attack and I'll tell you why in a second. So if you wanna get ready with me and see how I cope with ovarian cysts and also to help calm me down as well, keep watching if you are new to my channel be sure to click that subscribe button and become part of the jazz hands family and also to click that notification bell so you can be alerted every time i upload new content let's get into it so as usual off camera i did my brows and i primed my lids as well i'm not going to be talking about any of the products here in the video today um so basically consider this as a no brand makeup tutorial if that um, but I am going to talk about my ovarian cyst and also I'm actually going back to work for the first time in what seems like forever. I was actually gone for like a few days and it seems like I've been gone for such a long time and I'm actually feeling a little anxious right now at this point. It's really crazy how my body acts and oh so so crazy so i've suffered from ovarian cysts for over 15 years the first time that i felt like i was having some kind of pain i started to have pain like in my lower back and i thought it was like a kidney issue or something like that i i didn't know anything and i was like why am i having trouble sitting down why am i like just in so much pain it was unbearable and I thought that I had maybe like a urinary tract infection. You Google your symptoms, you swear up and down that you have everything else other than what it actually is because you're not a doctor, you're just Googling your symptoms. I'm one of those people that self-diagnoses themselves via Google and that's not a good thing. I know I'm not the only one. I know one of you guys do it too. It's crazy. So long story short, I eventually did go to the doctor to find out that I did have a few cysts on each side of my ovaries. Now for those of you who do not know what ovarian cysts are, they're pretty much like what I describe it as kind of like fluid like pimples on top of your ovaries and they can cause so much pain in that area. It's annoying. So I started to suffer from the pain at least once every month and to the point where it became so unbearable my body would lock like literally lock i could not move i could not do anything it was just so so painful it has cost me some jobs at that time i was brand spanking new in college it was my first year and I couldn't do it anymore it put me in this really really deep depression well that was part of it that kind of like put me in this deep depression and I it just it just took over my life it was so painful I don't even know how I coped with it at that time I think I was just doing over-the-counter like pain medication at that time I didn't know that there was something that I can do other than going on birth control because they do recommend that for you to kind of help you know make the cyst a little smaller but the birth control pills that they prescribed to me worked for maybe about a few months and then eventually I started to get sick and then my cyst started to get even more frequent and more painful than before so I was like take me off of this I can't take it anymore birth control pills was basically a no-go for me at that point and I was just getting more and more sick so I started eventually over the years just dealing with the pain and just doing over-the-counter pain medication which you know I did not want to do but I just had to do it ibuprofen was my over-the-counter drug of choice the years went on I bump into different people who have 
had similar experiences as me and you know gave me advice maybe more so of like natural remedies and I want to say about maybe two or so years ago someone just randomly contacted me on Instagram and was like hey I saw one of your old videos on ovarian cysts have you ever heard of black seed oil and I was just like god here goes another person like trying to sell me products and I'm not about this life right now what do you want and they just started to talk about what it was like how they found out about it themselves they did some research on it and it was just like you know not trying to sell you anything but just like research it on your own and see if it'll work for you because it worked for me and I was just like okay doesn't hurt to try so what I did was went online saw all of the benefits of black seed oil now I never heard of black seed oil and it is black cumin literally like just that like cold pressed black cumin and I was like okay I'm willing to give it a shot why not I have nothing to lose at this point found it at the vitamin shop it was a few bucks about 13 bucks or so and was like okay great but they were they were like pills these little capsules but oh my god I don't know if you've ever smelled black cumin before but to me it doesn't really smell good at all um, but I started to take the recommended dosage which was like two in the morning and two in the evening and started to see some changes in my body which was really good and I was just like oh my god why haven't I known about this before all of these years that I've been going to the doctor and trying to find some kind of relief for this ovarian cyst and no doctor has ever recommended like more of a natural like reliever for me everything was like over-the-counter and want you to you know get over-the-counter drugs that's how they say in business which I get and trust me that's like another story not gonna talk about that part today but I was just like this is just so crazy no doctor ever has recommended that for me and I begged <laughs> begged begged for some kind of answer what could I do to alleviate some of the pain and even ask for more natural resources and nothing so the black seed oil did help me after a while and then once I started to feel a little bit better then I guess I felt like in my brain that I didn't have to use them anymore so I did stop them and then I started to get the pain again I did order some more black seed oil recently and I'm just going to start taking them literally every day even when the pain is not there I'm just gonna take it every single day like as if I'm eating my breakfast now black seed oil doesn't take away ovarian cysts it did help me as far as like the pain is concerned so I do recommend it for that keep in mind I'm also not a doctor I'm just telling you what worked for me so after more research I was like you know this can't be enough I have to do more stuff with my body in order for me to make sure that I'm okay I did research about castor oil packs and I was like what is this what is this gonna do for my life and castor oil packs is literally just castor oil kind of like on a rag you put it on your belly and then you wrap yourself up and then you just put a heating pad over it and you just stay there sitting with the castor oil on your stomach for about an hour and just letting that just really work into your system so basically what I read of what the castor oil does it gives you relief it does kind of like detoxes that area and it just gives you really really good relief and it also helps to break down the cyst as well which is what you need in order for your pain to just go away so that was helping and then my husband also did his own research and found out you know there's smoothies that you can drink and there's one in particular that is super 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 gross but 
it was also helping me as well so it pretty much consisted of berries because it is an anti-inflammatory um, we did blueberries blackberries strawberries and beets ginger molasses Those home remedies pretty much helped me and then just like making sure that I relax and calm down stress is one key trigger in giving you like the ultimate pain because it just puts a toll on your body and past week has been super stressful at work and just my life in general I haven't been able to go to class for the past few weeks because I've just been in so much pain and under so much stress we had an event happening on one of the weekends and I couldn't even attend it because my pain was just literally that bad now, I'm talking about all of this no not looking for sympathy no not looking for oh my god poor you I'm so sorry this happened to you no I'm more on here to talk about it because I hope that some of the remedies that I did talk about hopefully those remedies are helping someone else out there that is suffering from ovarian cysts and it is important for you to know that there are other options out there I wish I knew about these options several years ago but I do know about them now and I plan on incorporating them into my life a lot more I also did do a little bit more research I feel like I'm doing research every single month on how to you know better my body and how to just really get rid of it as much as possible I was doing some research and found out about hemp seed oil never even like thought about hemp seed oil before I was looking at people's testimonies online and there was just this one particular product that people were just like oh my god I have got so much relief I don't even feel anxious anymore I don't feel stressed out I don't feel any pain this helped me with my arthritis it was over a thousand something reviews and I was like I gotta try this product so I did purchase that as well of course if it works I will let you guys know research check it out if you are interested in getting some kind of relief even if you don't have ovarian cysts and you just have pain that you just don't want to deal with anymore consider a hemp seed oil and see if it works for you like just look at the reviews the reviews pretty much sold me and I'm looking forward to seeing if that is gonna do me justice and make me feel so much better about my life we finish this makeup look off camera and I'll be right back almost forgot to mention that soaking in the tub also helped me a lot my husband set the tub put some Epsom salt in it with some lavender I think the Epsom salt already had lavender in it and it did help I stood in there for maybe about a half an hour 45 minutes or so and just the warmth of the water just felt so flipping good and that also gave me some relief as well so now your girl is ready to go to work I do feel a lot calmer so thank you guys for rocking with me and hearing my ovarian cyst journey and how I cope I hope some of the tips that I did mention in this video is helpful to some of you guys let me know in the comment section below if you or someone you know suffers from ovarian cysts and if you have any other tips or remedies that I didn't mention in this video please let me know in the comment section below this is Jazz with Jazz and myself till next time y'all spread love peace